Hey, what's up guys? Vince D here, back with another unboxing video and right here, we have the Pokephone F1. Now guys, I don't usually say oh my god in my videos, but oh my god. Right here, my friends, is a phone that has a Snapdragon 845 processor, liquid cooling, 4000 milliamperes of battery, a headphone jack, expandable memory, the complete package. And how much does this cost? 300 US dollars. What? And oh, this is the Honor Play, by the way. I'm gonna make a comparison later, so yeah, be sure to watch till the end of the video. There's actually something more insane than the Pokephone itself, and that is the Pokephone giveaway. Yes, I'm giving away the Pokephone F1 right here to one lucky subscriber, and all you need to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my great content. I'm actually giving away two phones right now. The F9 is gonna be given away two to three weeks from now, and following that, is the Pokephone F1. So yeah, like I told you, this is a very generous channel and once you're with me, you always have a chance. Well, speaking of giveaways, I've already given away the Nova Free Eye to Nishiki Yo. Congratulations again for winning the Nova Free Eye giveaway. Already sent her the package and she's loving it. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna show you the box right here. I have here the global version. All right. And just like I mentioned earlier, it has the Snapdragon 845 processor, liquid cooling system, AI dual cameras, and 4,000 milliampers of battery. And this unit has six gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of ROM. And the color is graphite black. So the box is nice. It's a combination of black and yellow, which is I think the color theme of the Pokephone, black and yellow. All right, and I'm opening it up. Okay, yellow box. All right, we actually have a box within a box right here. And right inside the box, we have the jelly case and some papers. So yeah, this is the manual. And we have here the jelly case, standard Xiaomi right here. And here we have the Pokephone F1. And oh, it's, there's a lot of bubbles. Okay, so my unit is not virgin anymore. Somebody actually used it. Well, it's okay, but you know, virgins are, you know, I love virgins. I mean, I love phones that haven't been opened yet like you know you know what I mean so I'm just gonna set this aside for now we have here a power adapter this is something that I don't like on the global variants they actually just give us a ordinary charger the China variants actually get a QC 3.0 charger Darn. and right here we have the standard USB type-c cable and of course the sim ejector pin which is really hard to get seriously how do you, how do you get that so here's the phone itself and it's time to peel Hey, no more bubbles. And here's the back. I'm just gonna take out the sticker as well. All right, and look at that. It kinda looks like metal, but it's actually plastic. It's one of those rare cases where plastics actually feel kind of premium. And because it's matte, not much fingerprints. Great. I'm just gonna quickly go over the externals of the phone right here. We have here the headphone jack at the top, two speaker grills at the bottom, and a USB Type-C port. And we have the volume rockers at the right side and the power button right below it. And right here we have the SIM tray, it's actually expandable. This is a complete package right here. Just the headphone jack and this makes this a sure buy from me. Now the placement of the cameras is actually at the middle of the phone. It is the first time I have seen a Xiaomi product this year to have the cameras placed at the middle part. And yes, we have the dual cameras right here at the top, the fingerprint scanner right below, and the LED flash right beside them. And we have the branding right here below. And that's pretty much it. Let me just open the phone. It's time to awaken the beast. Pokephone by Xiaomi, yellow and black. All right, here we go. There's the notch. Now it actually looks like the Mi 8 at the front right here. Let me just swipe up. What we have here is MIUI pre-installed in the Pocophone F1, but it doesn't look like MIUI at all. They actually call it the Poco Launcher. It's a skin on top of MIUI. It kind of looks like Android 1. It has this drawer right here. It's simple, it's very smooth. We have the Google Apps right here pre-installed, Google Play Store, Google Chrome, and uh, wait, what is that? What the? Look at that! <laughs> that doesn't look like what I'm thinking right there. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is not a virgin anymore. Somebody actually opened it before I got it. Come on, you could have just deleted it before you gave it to me. <laughs> really. <laughs> now this is a very wholesome channel. I, I don't do porn right here, come on. <laughs> now the screen on this thing is very good. It's a 6.8 inch Full HD Plus IPS display. It's very good. It's got great viewing angles, great color accuracy. 
it's all you need for a screen. All right, I just fully drained the foam right here. It's at 0%. I'm gonna completely charge it to 100% using this original Qualcomm QC 3.0 charger right here. And let's start. There's your LED notification light. Here's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, one hour and 30 minutes. And at two hours, we are still at 99%. It's now charging slowly to 800%. So it actually took two hours to fill up the 4,000 milliampere battery on this thing. Now, even though this is quick charging, charging for two hours is kind of slow. Ever since I experienced VOOC fast charging, I have ever since been blown away by how fast charging was which was able to charge 3500 milliampere of battery at an hour and 15 minutes so yeah it's pretty good just not 0.9 good and now it's all charged up i'm gonna be doing the usual train test playing pubg for one hour and uh, i'll have to remove that later okay and here are the settings hdr graphics ultra frame rates realistic and these below and these are the max settings you can't go to ultra hd bummer but oh well let's just start playing and here we go. Yes, yes. It does feel like it is running on a Snapdragon 845 processor. Amazing, yes. For the price, it is totally mind-blowing to have this kind of power within my hands for only 18,000 pesos or under $300. Wow. Seriously, this thing is $300? Seriously, from what I'm seeing right now, it's actually looking better than the Honor Play. And the lighting, the textures, everything. It looks so, so much better. This looks like a PC game already. Take a good look at that, guys. That's the graphics you're gonna get at this price range. What? So far, so good. It looks so smooth and it looks so detailed. The depth of graphics on this thing is remarkable. Wow. I was actually blown away by the Honor Play but this thing right here actually erased all of that. The Honor Play was hyped for what, a couple of days and when this came out, boom, Honor Play goodbye. Seriously, I've actually done a lot of PUBG tests before and only Snapdragon processors do take advantage of the graphics on PUBG, like completely. Come on, look at that. That looks like PC level already. PC graphics levels right here, guys. Just mind blowing. Whoa, is that an enemy? I need to kill this one. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I just, I'm killing him with my bare hands. I was able to kill a person with my bare hands, even with him with a gun. And we're now at 30 minutes. I just died. This is in spectate mode and 90%. Very, very good. And now we've already reached 1R. Let me just check how hot this is. Playing at 1R, 43, 44 degrees Celsius, not hot at all. That is not hot, folks. It looks like liquid cooling is now working for the first time on a Xiaomi product. Now the black shark actually reached 48 degrees Celsius and right here it only reached 44. Let's check the battery levels. 79%, I guess that's okay. For me, that's above average. 4,000 milliamperes, 79% at one hour. So far, so good. I'm just gonna show you the camera app right here. It definitely looks like the one on the Mi 8 and the Mi 8 SE. Right there we have a eye. So when it sees something like a flower, it will show the flower icon, all right? So basically what it does is that it adjusts the settings, the contrast, the brightness, the saturation based on what it sees. And here are the photos and the videos. Now based on my observations, the AI on the Pocophone didn't seem to look drastically different from its non-AI pictures. The Honor Play, on the other hand, always applied a great amount of brightness and saturation on its photos, no matter what the subject is. Now, I do see that in order to take advantage of the AI on the Focophone, it actually needs to identify the subject and match one of its preloaded scene detection configurations. Most of the time, it wasn't able to identify the scene, and I really didn't see much of an improvement. At night, though, the Honor Play looked the best, especially when AI was on. And by the way, if you want to check out the camera specs, I left them in the descriptions below. Enjoy. And now for the rear video test. Let me just do a quick walk right here. So this is a 1080p video and both have image stabilization right here. So the image quality on the Pocophone is much much better compared to the Honor Play. Well, it's just because the Honor Play is cropping the image right here to achieve the image stabilization and smoothness that it has right now. 
Now, as you can see, the quality on the Pocophone is so, so much better. Look at that. And now I just turned off the image stabilization on the Honor Play and it's not zoomed in anymore and this is the quality. Still, the Pocophone looks much better. All right. And now for 4K, I'm just gonna test the HDR on both phones. Point directly to sunlight and right below and to a dark area. Okay. Hmm. Seems that the Pocophone has much better HDR right here, as you can see. Hey, hey guys, so I'm currently here at Italy. Yes, I went all the way here at Italy just to take this video, just for you guys. And yes, this is a 1080p video at 30 frames per second. Now I can see that there's a little bit of noise going on here on the Honor Play. It is very grainy. The exposure levels on the Pocophone is quite good compared to the Honor Play, as you can see right here. Hey, so this is the selfie video, and I'm here at Italy, as you can see. And yeah, those are bright lights. So from what I'm seeing right now, the Honor Play has some smoothening going on and some whitening, while the Pocophone doesn't have that. And now I just turned off the beauty filter on the Honor Play, and this is what it looks like. Yep. Hey, so I'm back at the Philippines. Last night I was at Italy. Yeah, I just got back home uh, early this morning. So that's actually the reason why this video took so long to make. I actually did some traveling, so yeah, I'll do anything for you guys. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna be traveling to Italy now and then to have some uh, video tests for you guys. And that's pretty much it for this review on the Pocophone. So far, I am loving it. Wow. I'm telling you right now, this is probably the best smartphone in 2018. Now, there are going to be a lot of phones that are going to come out later this year, but they're not going to be as complete as the Pocophone right here and as budget friendly. That is actually the emphasis right there. If the OnePlus 6 is the speed you need, this is the speed you need at an affordable price. This is the complete package, guys. Great camera, fast processor, has a headphone jack, expandable memory. There's nothing out there that provides you that at this price range. Now, here's the big question that all of my 40,000 subscribers have been waiting for. Is the Pocophone good for porn? It's a yes for me. The Poco Porn, the, the Pocophone F1 is the best phone ever on the market right now and nothing, nothing can beat this at the price range. And just like I told you guys, I'm gonna be having a comparison video for both these guys. I've already shown you the camera comparison. Up next, I'm gonna be showing you the PUBG comparison between the two of these. The battery, speed, the works. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. This is Vincent Minger from Tech Beans and I'll see you on the next video.